political uncertainty. I operate in 150 countries. Uh, that means geopolitics uh, impacts our business everywhere. On top of that, the uh, you can say the weakening macroeconomic environment, uh, of course, um, uh, together with the inflationary crisis we've seen over the last couple of years, is is, is a massive theme for us. More longer term, uh, we're also here to discuss climate crisis, which is a major theme, uh, also for our industry. So there's plenty of reasons to. Uh, to stay up at night, but uh, I try to get my sleep. What are you seeing on the inflation front? Do you feel that your input costs are coming down or is there the risk that they could either stay high or go even higher now that, of course, we have the issues in the Red Sea with freedom of passage there mm. and also the Panama Canal has problems with drought too? Yes, so the way we look at 24, we, we do not see a relief on, uh, on commodity prices and generally on, uh, on, on cost. We do expect a, a slightly increasing cost picture again next year, or oh, sorry, this year, 24. And uh, so we're not seeing a let up. There's no doubt that there are elements of inflation that are, that are moderating. But there, from there until the uh, uh, price is suddenly going down, we're not seeing that environment. So it's going to be another year of inflation, not as high as, as last year. Are you able to pass those higher costs onto the consumer and keep on raising beer prices? Well, we have no choice uh, but to make sure that we are we're staying uh, profitable and competitive. And that also means we will see some price increases uh, also in 24. A real pity for those like myself who love beer. I love beer. My father loves beer. Unfortunately, my 18-year-old son does not love beer. I'm right. starting to see quite a lot of youngsters perhaps going for healthier choices, things like hard seltzer or even non-alcoholic beer. What are the trends that you're seeing in beer consumption around the world? I think you're a very good example of what we're seeing. So we're still seeing a very large group that still enjoys beer, but we're also seeing, uh, especially younger generations, wanting more selections around what we call beyond beer. So hard seltzers is a good example. Uh, ciders, there are many uh, examples of, you can say, uh, migration into other types of products. The other thing we're seeing is also uh, alcohol-free beer suddenly becoming a category that is, that is showing strong growth. We are present in all of those segments, and for us it's about making sure that we can deliver on the consumer choice. I think it's better in terms of a healthier world as well. 